and welcome into To Your Health. You know, each month we look at something from a medical perspective, and this month is stroke month, not a thing to play with. If you think somebody in your family or you are having a stroke, time is of the essence. And today we have with us Dr. Steve Suggs, and you are the director of the Stroke Center for Baptist Health System. And the lady that makes things happen there is Melissa Stark. And you're a registered nurse, yep. and you're there 24 7. Just, Just about. about. Yeah, absolutely. It feels like it's absolutely. <laughs> and you know, last week, Dr. Suggs, we were very fortunate to learn about some of the warning signs of stroke and we talked a little bit about prevention. Um, what are some things we really feel our, our viewers need to know with regard to stroke? As we mentioned in the tie into last week, it just time is of the essence. So if you feel like you're having stroke symptoms or a family member or someone close, you need to call 911. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the hospital, the hospital has been geared toward treating you appropriately for the stroke, which is in a very timely manner. And that's what our stroke center does. And that's what Melissa does every day. She's our stroke coordinator and manages the stroke center. So she can give you some insight into the day-to-day -day operations of that. Mm -hmm. Let's say that something like that happens to me and I come in the ambulance to you. Yes. Could you take us through what I can expect at that point? Sure. So when someone comes in by ambulance, um, they arrive in our emergency department, and as soon as we get them registered, we take them right to the CT scanner. We get a CAT scan of the brain because we want to make sure that there's no bleeding going on in the brain. Um, so once that comes back, we take the patient to their room. We get them all settled in their room, try to reassure them that, you know, this is an emergency. We're going to take care of this, but it's great that you got help so quickly. So after some decision making happens, we talk with a couple of doctors, then we administer a medication called Activase. Mm -hmm. And what that does is that helps to break down the clot and hopefully prevent the stroke from expanding in your brain and making you any worse than you could have been. Mm -hmm. Let me ask a couple of questions. First of all, you talked about the bleeding. Yes. Is the bleeding in the brain something different from the clot in the brain or mm -hmm. does one cause the other? Are they two different things? As I mentioned in the segment yes. last week, 87% um, of strokes are due to the blood clot blocking the artery. Okay. But the other 13 to 15% are due to a hemorrhage in the brain. Okay. So the Good. same symptoms that mm -hmm. I mentioned before, the FAST, face, arm, right. speech, time, uh, could cause what appears to us as clinicians the same symptoms. So the CAT scan tells us, is this a hemorrhage stroke or not? And if there's hemorrhage in the brain, then we can't give the Activase TPA okay. medicine that I was describing because you cause more bleeding issues. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's part of our initial... Uh, and they're, they're both equally as dangerous, right? Yes. The bleeding as well as the other. Absolutely. And then when you said take them to their room. You don't put them in the room in the hospital. You're talking about the room in the emergency, in, in the, room. In the emergency room to get further treatment. Absolutely. For starters. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I have a question that every, everybody talks about or asks. What about what you hear about taking an aspirin a day? Let's get that clarified for our audience. Is that maybe good and in some situations maybe not? So what's the protocol? It's a little protocol? bit controversial for the general population as to whether just you need to willy-nilly mm -hmm. take an aspirin a day without some medical uh, oversight. And that would be like a baby aspirin. A baby right? aspirin. Yeah. In general though, it's effective and beneficial and um, particularly if you don't have any other bleeding risk. So if you've had an ulcer or your doctor's advised you not to take aspirin or right. you have an aspirin allergy, then clearly you would not want to take aspirin. And you said an important thing last week, very important. I want our viewers to realize this. Get yourself a good internal medicine mm -hmm. doctor that's going to be your doctor because he's going to have the, the this history of you. When you're talking about aspirin, and you asked a great question, you just don't willy-nilly start That's popping right. an aspirin, get advice. It's, and even if you have a cardiologist, check with him also. It's important Absolutely. to have good primary care, for yes. sure. So, and the interesting thing also about our stroke center is it's been proven uh, in studies that being treated at a stroke center gives you better outcomes. Mm -hmm. Over and above the TPA effect that we talked about earlier, right. in a stroke center we're doing things like swallowing screens 
in patients before mm -hmm. they take anything by mouth to make sure they don't aspirate, for example, and get right, pneumonia. Right, right. We're looking to make sure that they get a prophylaxis or prevention of blood clots in their legs because maybe they'll be in the bed for a few days. Mm -hmm. Certain things kind of happen automatically, again, that Melissa is coordinating that makes those things happen that gives us better outcomes. So, yeah. so basically, you have a full service <laughs> situation Absolutely. there at at the center at Baptist and that's located at Baptist South correct and you're there's a certification I know I see all kinds of honors yes. for your center so yes we are a primary stroke certified center um, which means that you come to us and we'll give you the best care that we can and if we can't get you all the care we need we'll get it from somewhere mm -hmm. um, but we have an amazing NSICU, neuro ICU, and neuro floor that does an awesome job taking care of our stroke patients and making sure that every base is covered when it comes to them. So basically, Ooh. Jack, <coughs> if anything happens, we're calling 911. That's right. And we're going to Baptist South because I know that you will take care of us. Thank the both of you for being here thank and thank you, so you for much. the jobs that you're doing on a day to day <laughs> basis to make sure we have a very healthy life. Thank you. And Thank you if something having. does happen, to make sure it minimizes any danger. Absolutely. And just remember this, as we said all in this program, if you're by yourself and you have some symptoms, do not wait. Call 911 because by the time somebody can get you, it's very important that you're on the way. And we'll be right back right after this.